everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's Monday, of course, so that means it's decorating day. So let's just jump straight on in. Oh, this is so full. I think this week is going to be the week that I pull some bits out of this because it is just far too full at this point. I don't like it. Not at all. That was weird that was stuck together. Just taking that out and trying not to completely stuff up all of the bits that are already in here. There we go. Okay, so this week I'm going to do, I'm kind of going to do it in a bit of a roundabout kind of way. Um, just because I'm going to use some bits and pieces from a couple of different collections. Basically what I want to do here is I want to really kind of use um, the whale the whales where I'm going with this so I'm kind of going with a, a nautical theme for want of a better word um, which means I'm kind of pulling bits and pieces from everywhere so I'm going to start with an envelope which sounds really odd um, but I'm going to start with it because then I want to put a list in it which I want to put some um, nautical bits and pieces in and then I'll kind of work out what fits so I'm just jumping into the cute, is that the cute one? Yes, the cute paper lovers book and into the sweet collection that's in here. And I'm just grabbing this letter envelope. I'm just going to pull that out. And I'm just going to punch that out and I'll be back in just a sec. So I'm just going to tidy this one up a little bit because as you know I'm crazy about that. And what I'm going to do with this one is the same thing I did last time and I'm just going to trim this bottom bit off. I just find it really wasteful. Um, such a pretty piece of paper. And the way that Kiki K fold this, you kind of lose it and I, I don't quite understand why they do it that way, but they do. So what I'm going to do is fold along the score line where they've got here and then just trim it off just above it just so I don't waste anything. Okay. Once you've done this bit you can leave it like this I'm actually gonna do something a little bit tricky here so I'm gonna stick these down just with some washi tape this is just um, washi tape from the cute or oh, the cute 2014 range I think it is and I just like the way that it's blue and stripy I think that's kind of nautical -y, maybe so I'm just gonna stick this down You know me, I'm not going to get too worried about it not being straight. I am going to worry about cutting the envelope though, I don't want to do that. So, I'm just folding it over. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect on the back because we're not going to see that anyway. And they're just doing the same thing on the other side. what it looks like once I've done that and then what I'm going to do is actually cut this top bit off again being really tricky here or well, trying to be really tricky here and you'll see why in just a sec I'm always really nervous when I do this in case I mess it up I'm just going to do it and fingers crossed it works so then I'm going to stick that down on the top so it still looks like it's been folded over but then I can still use it in the top here so I'm just going to do that and I'll be back in just a sec. There we go and then just as a bit of a sealer I'm just grabbing these stickers these were sent to me 
from a friend of mine on Instagram from uh, Kiki K Paper Lovers Books. I will link her Instagram account down below for you. She's very, very clever. I'm just grabbing this one here with the anchor. And I'm just going to put that just there as a bit of an extra thing. So what this is going to be able to do is hold me a little list. I have a lot of bits and pieces that I need to be doing in the next couple of weeks, especially next week. Um, so I really need to be able to have a list going, especially for this week. So next thing I'm going to do, because these are running that way, I am going to use a bit out of a bit of paper out of this um, notepad. This is the cute notepad from last year. I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this one with the blue spots, just keeping with that blue kind of theme. And I'm going to cut a couple of strips or four strips to run across the top and the bottom of both pages. Okay, so that's what it looks, well, not what it looks like, that's what it how it's going to sit. Um, if you noticed when I was doing that, I just used the markings on this paper trimmer to kind of measure out the thickness and I've done the top ones obviously a lot thicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these down and I'll be right back. looks like once all that's done that's gonna sit just there and it's gonna be a flipping kind of thing so I think the next thing I need to do is write in all the bits and pieces that I need to do all my netball and things like that so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in just a second I think I've got everything written that I need to get written. So now I'm going to jump into this notepad. Pardon me. I just want to grab that whale because I'm going to use him now. I love this whale. He's gorgeous. I'm just having a quick flick just to make sure there's nothing else I want to use there, but there's not. I'm also just going to grab the sticker book for this one. Because there is a whale in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there's the whale there. I might use some of the crabs and the seashells as well in a second. So I'm going to cut him out to start with, just really roughly, and then I'll go around him neatly in just a second. I'm going to take the anchors while I'm here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them out neatly and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to put my 
just a whale, just down the bottom there. And I'm gonna put the anchors just there. And then just using a little bit more of this paper so I'm not completely wasting it. I'm just gonna cut, whoop, I'm gonna hold it still and I'm gonna cut that out. It's gonna live in there and that's gonna be the to-do. So I'm just gonna grab I'm just checking that there's not like a to-do sticker, which I don't think there is in here. No. Just gonna grab this is my little plea, to, not plea, but my idea to Kiki K. Do a hole under the sea themed one. I would love that. I'd be the only one that would love that, but I would love that. Where would I have a to-do? I have a to-do sticker somewhere. Ah, I'm just gonna write it in by hand this time. So that's gonna live in there. The whale's gonna go there. So I'm just going to stick these ones down and I'll be back in just a sec. So then I just need to punch the holes in this. So I'm just going to stick that exactly where I want it. Flip it over and mark my hole punching spots. Just going to punch them out. That's going to live just there. I'm just thinking on the back if I want to stick something else there instead. Like I know that crab's there and he's kind of covered a little bit, which I don't like. So I'm just going to peel back this washi tape a little bit. I'm actually going to trim it if I can. This is going to look really silly when I do it. But. So I'm going to stick that piece of paper there. I'm just grabbing my craft knife and just really gently, I'm just cutting down where that line is. And the idea is that it'll cut the washi tape, but not the envelope, which it did. Ha ha! Look, I did something clever. Who would have thought it? I am going to put something on the back. I'm going to grab, there was a sticker here I saw just before that I wanted. Maybe it was in the Paper Lovers book. There's just far too many stickers. No, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this little tag here. Grab the tag. I'm gonna have it sitting. It's gonna sit upside down. It's gonna sit on top, just because I can. You really should be a bit more gentle when you're pulling these out. I just realised how hard I pulled. do instead of putting it at the bottom I might put it just at the top here instead it's just punching a slightly bigger hole there and put that one there the very last couple of things I need to do is I just need to put another little to-do sticker over here and just put a little reminder in here.
really terrible handwriting there. Sorry about that. I feel like I need to put something else there. I don't know why. There we go. Still missing something. What's it missing? Okay, so I've kind of fiddled around for a minute because I was thinking I wanted to put something here or here, I don't know. Um, so what I decided to do instead is just kind of leave it. The only thing that I'm looking at going, this is a really busy side and this is really not all that busy, but I think I'm going to leave it because I don't want to play with it because it does actually look really, really good. I love this envelope. It's so cute. So that's my week kind of with an ocean theme, kind of. Um, I love this whale. I want him everywhere. Please, Kiki K, do a whole ocean themed range. That would be brilliant. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm getting awfully close to a magic number that's going to mean another big giveaway. So if you're not already subscribed and you do watch reasonably often, I would urge you now to be a very, very good time to hit that subscribe button. If you do want to leave me a comment, you can obviously down below or you can find me on any of my social medias. They're all linked down below for you. Hope you have a good start of the week and I will see you on Wednesday. See you later. Bye.